Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Should a Gentile Perform a Brit Milah? So the answer, of course, we'll say is, of course not. This is a, a Jewish mitzvah. It's not one of the Noahide laws. And that is the simple understanding of most of the rabbis. However, there's a phenomenon called B'nai Keturah in the parasha by Lech Lecha talks about the B'nai Keturah in the Sanhedrin. Sanhedrin. The Gemara Sanhedrin talks about that B'nai Keturah didn't receive. And they are commanded. What does that mean? So there's three commentaries in the Rishonim. Some say it was just those six children of B'nai Keturah that received the Mila, and that's it. Tosa Samar says, no, they did receive neither of them in the generations after until Sinai. And the Rambam says, in Malachim, Perik Yud, Halacha Chet, Amru Chacham and Bnei Keturah, Heim Zarosh Avraham, the children of Avraham, Sheva Achi Yishmael, Yitzchak, Hayavin Bamila. They have to have Mila. So you say, well, we don't know who they are today. Choel Venet Avru Hayo, Bnei Yishmael, Bnei Keturah, but now they're mixed up. We don't know who's who. Hayavim Hakoba Mila Bishmini. They everyone should get a Mila on the eighth day. What a Rambam. That all Gentiles should get a Mila because we don't know who is B'nai Keturah. What a Chiddush. So the <laughs> Maisa doesn't seem that we hold this way, that the Goy has to have a Mila, but what a fascinating Rambam. Shalom.